Hello America, welcome to Camping Corner. It's week 20. Yep. There are TV shows that have been Emmy nominated that haven't went 20 episodes. I like how you up the bar each week for like what you're going to compare us to. So this week was Emmy. We are, we will be <laughs> Emmy nominated week 22. <laughs> I'm your co-host, I'm Tony. I'm Mallory. And you're here and get a hold of the Emmy nominations committee and submit for <laughs> best host of a camping related show uh, found on the internet to Mallory and Tony. Hey, we might be the only ones in that category. Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> hey, we didn't do a, you know, we do all these really cool segments. I We think we do really cool segments. Um, we didn't put a whole lot in this week for industry news because we got a whole lot of train wrecks coming. Yes, we've been we've been prepped. We haven't seen anything, but we've been prepped that we're in for some fun this week. Yeah. So, it might be a new segment that you have to help name. Yes. Yes. What tell tell them your idea. Go I want you to go ahead and tell them your idea cuz I like it. What the blank? <laughs> I like it, but yeah, we're definitely open to other ideas too, because who knows what people could come up with. Somebody might have a better idea. Yeah, but I do like what the blank. What the blank? <laughs> then you can insert whatever right. after. So yeah, it's still, manufacturers are still catching up with production, right? Working really hard. Yes, so we're still seeing a lot of first time campers coming into the industry, which is phenomenal, and it's really fun and exciting to see. Yes. So let's get let's get rolling. All right, here we go. We're gonna dive right in. What's on page two? It's, it's a surprise, Tony. <laughs> Show a fat guy some donuts. Come on, dog. And you only get to choose. Okay, those are our oh, okay. It's National Donut Day. Oh well, then why the heck do we not have donuts? Like you do. Real. There's a picture of a donut right there. I mean, like real donuts. Like edible. Just saying, just throwing it out there. All right, so which one? A, which looks like the classic glazed. Yeah, B, your chocolate with sprinkles, and then C, your jelly filled. And I'm guessing this D means you don't like donuts. Yes. Okay. There is nobody on the planet that doesn't like donuts. There shouldn't be anyone on the planet that doesn't like donuts. You know, There, there used to be a place called Square Donuts that had uh, some kind of cake donut that had a maple glaze icing on top of it, and yeah. then they cut up uh, bacon and put on top of it. Oh, it was, it was so good. That's how I got all this. That's how Tony got his award-winning figure. You betcha. <laughs> Round is a figure. <laughs> I have no room to talk. I don't know, okay, well, what one did you choose? What's your? Well, it depends on whether you're the one that opens the box or if you're late to the box. Because if, if you're open, if you're the first one to open the box and you've got all the choice, you got the tiger tails, you have the little twisty things, yeah. you got the bear claws, you got the big cinnamon roll, you got lots of options. But if you're the fourth person to the box, you're, you're just blindly grabbing you're probably just getting the regular glazed piece donut at that yeah. point. Nothing fancy. I'm a very and cream. It's not on here, but I'm a very and cream all the way. If I had to choose from this option, I'm gonna go B, the chocolate. I gotta have milk with the chocolate. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I can you know, drink water or whatever with the others, but if it's chocolate with chocolate icing, it's gotta be milk. All right. Look at this beautiful picture, Tony. That is a that super awesome picture. You look at, they even captioned it, look at the Montana and that sky. Yep. And that Ford. Yeah. You got your pretty truck and your pretty camper. And <laughs> it's just an overall beautiful picture. I think the Ford belongs at the campground, or the camper next door. <laughs> Dan has to make it all about, um, try to create controversy. <laughs> so, I was super excited, obviously, for this next one, because I'm in the, thank you. 
So this was um, Michael Boris bought his Mesa Ridge from us and just wanted to say thank you. Um, he's enjoying his camping and loving all the memories that they're making. Super excited for Michael and Michelle. I know they waited a long time for that camper and they're having fun. Yeah, and they pull it with the GM truck. Look at that. Yep. The yeah. heartbeat of America, baby. <laughs> well, that's fine for the small little campers, but when you got a big Montana, you need a Ford. <laughs> I'm just the pretty truck person, so I'm just going to sit over it's here. So pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> hey, we got another super cool picture with the pose uh, from Caitlin Brooke Sherwood uh, or Clayton Fritz. Not sure who it, who it is, but. Uh, feeling cute, might go camping later. I love this. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love the sense of humor that goes into these. Absolutely. It's awesome. Uh, you can't take camping serious. No, you can't. You've got to have fun. Look at Shark Puma in the Wild. It's a nice looking boat. Puma. Oh, there, there's why I messed up this week. Puma. Puma. I don't know what I was about to Puma. say, but it wasn't Puma. What, what kind of truck is that? At the back of the picture, it's another Ford. Oh, oh, with the with the GM vehicle in front. Well, GMs are fine for uh, we are, we people. are keeping we that if we're keeping score, that's uh, two to two. <laughs> no, they're not towing anything with that GM. They might be. There. there could there could be. Have, hey, you, have seen you seen other the pictures, pictures we've we shown up here? You never know. <laughs> It's uh, not out of the question. Yeah, that's uh, that's Terry Christensen. Uh, the the uh, folks that, that have the Puma, I know they're super excited about their campers. So I'll give you a half on that. It's two to one and a half. Oh, this wow. battle could go on and on. We're going to have a rap battle later on. <laughs> Probably not, but... <laughs> Around the web. How is stinking cute are these little campers? I'm getting rid of my kid's play set. I'm getting this. I want one. Well, I have a camper, but if I was a kid, this would be right up my alley. Do you see the flamingos in the flower boxes? I the do. <laughs> Got the flamingos, the little grill set. And I love the welcome to buy. Welcome yeah. to buy trailer. She's like, it's my camper. It's my campsite. And then they got the, can actually get up on top of it. It's got the little rock climbing yep. thing on the back side of it. The thing is, this thing is awesome. That's absolutely, that is absolutely adorable. Your GM could pull that. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you're short enough, you could camp in that. So that, that, that would make it easier. <laughs> Taller than you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so we're going to share some posts from our sister store, Primo RV. So this one, let's settle the age old debate about the marshmallow, your cooking level of the marshmallow. Where are you at, Tony? Four, maybe three. I'm like a, I'm probably about five. Not completely burnt, but I'm gonna set it on fire for a second. That's how my kid cooks them. He just like sticks them straight in the fire, yeah. lets them catch on fire, pulls it out, looks at it for a little bit, <laughs> blows it out. Well, okay. But when you're making a s'more, nothing aggravates you more than when you're trying to get the marshmallow off and you haven't cooked it all the way, and just the outer part of the marshmallow comes off, off and, and then it leaves still... a miniature yes. version. Gosh, that's aggravating. <laughs> what the blank? <laughs> What's the one thing you can't go camping without? Well, apparently, they're taking it all. They are going to have the time of their life with the boat, a little four, what is that, a four-wheeler, a quad, whatever. And the quad, if you notice, the quad is almost the same size as whatever the little SUV is that they're carrying. Yes. How do you easily get that boat off and on there? Hold yeah. my beer. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a very good question. Does it, do you have to take the quad and the little SUV out? Yeah, and you, it lowers. Yeah, you would definitely have to. That's a lot of work for all the stuff you're taking. Camping is supposed to be relaxing, but I guess if that's relaxing for you, do maybe, all... maybe 
you take the SUV and the quad off and you back the trailer deep enough into the water to where <laughs> the boat is finally in the water and then you just pull off. No, I don't think you would do that because the, the boat would have to come off the way the boat is on there. It would have to come off the front. So you'd have to submerge the tow vehicle. <laughs> I mean, if you've followed other episodes, we've seen yeah, we've seen that. some crazy stuff. <laughs> a lot of engineering went into this. I mean, and and just from the guy's standpoint, think of how many think of how many ratchet straps are used to hold all that together, and how many times that's just not one going more anywhere. Yep, that that'll do it. <laughs> so this was kind of an intro, but it brings us <laughs> to my favorite section. And the section we want the name for. Caption this. Yeah, caption this. So Tony's idea was what's the point? Oh my. No, no, listen, hold on. Don't get confused. Okay. We have the what the blank, which is these fun ones, but then we also have the caption this. You don't have those yet. I will bring those to you in a minute. These are just the possible what the blank. Yeah, so this is just the... This could be your what the blank. Caption this kind of stands on its own. This okay. is your what the blank. So these are obviously first reactions, but your caption isn't as important. Just what you guys think uh, adds it at a whole. I feel like <laughs> the top of this, uh, it's a junkyard. I mean, I'm just going to say it. That's a junkyard on the top of this. Okay, see how it are you trying to figure out what's up there? You know, I, the most important thing I see is, God bless America. It's a patriot. They got the the star. The, they 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 got the stars the door. on the door, <laughs> and then some sort of picture. Of is that is that the Last Supper? I don't know. I can't tell. It might be. I see a I see Buddha, and then a, a Buddha up up. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm I'm no. These are very laid back people. These are the people that when they pull in the campground. Remember how we talk about the fact that everybody watches people pull in the campground. These are the people that when you see them pull into the campground, everybody's going not next to me, not next to me, not next to me, <laughs> not next to me. If you were behind this vehicle on the road, what is the first thing you think you would smell? Patchouli oil. Garbage. (laughs) I was thinking marijuana. (laughs) He's not wrong, probably. (laughs) That's a legit... All the things that you have to move from the windshield though to drive it. Like there's a lot going on. That's, that's craziness. Oh goodness. Oh, Look at that GM truck. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> you can have that one. <laughs> the cool thing is it's got a, it actually has a porch. It does have a porch. <laughs> I just feel like one bump and this thing's coming off. I mean it's gone. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. I don't see any ratchet straps. No, there are no there are no ratchet straps holding you. What's the guy's name that has this? That built this? America, what do you think this guy's name is? What do you, do you have an idea? Uh that's like a Otis. I was thinking like a Cletus, which is what Tammy is. So we're along the same lines. Otis, Cletus. <laughs> That thing Ju- is a beast. junior, but is but but he's not like a junior. They they just that's what they named him. Yeah, he's not like an actual junior. He's not, he's yeah. like William Junior, whatever. He's just junior. I got gotcha. you. Big big wide shoulders <laughs> with a little bitty head. How oh how is this thing even? That thing can't be functioning. <laughs> the door's about to fall off for one you've got the sparks that are going to happen just driving down the road from it rubbing against the pavement you know the low rider community is making a comeback 
Low rider RVs, guys. Apparently. This has to be okay. Hang on. This one and this one have a lot going on that are the same as far as all the junk that's on the top. That's holding in there with just some wire railing. I don't want to be behind either one of those on the interstate or any road. Just one of those parks or sheets is going to come flying off there. You see what I'm saying? So that brings up another question. So right there on the on the back, let's let's just let's dissect the back. <laughs> let's dissect the back. So there's something underneath the green tarp right there. Yeah. When you drive all of this. What is so important that you need to put a tarp over it? You're driving all of this that you really don't care about, but whatever's right there, we can't let that get wet. No, apparently we're not concerned about the door <laughs> hanging off the side. That one. Okay, you guys ready? Ready. Here we go. Uh, blank pages in the middle of the episode. Here we go. Time again for caption this. We've never done caption this. We did, no, we, did. we did last week. Didn't we? we only did like one or two. Oh. So we did it last week. All right. Well, it's time again for caption this. Yep. So we're going to post some of these in the coming days. Best caption. We win a prize. Can me and Tony win a prize? No. Oh. Your prize is you get to be on the show. Okay. Hey, we have to turn the page at the same time. <laughs> employees of Walnut Ridge and their families are not eligible for employees to drive. <laughs> By the way, I love the outtakes. The, the outtake of the uh, Spanish soap opera last weekend. It was hysterical. Did, did either of you actually check to see what was being said? Yes. Okay. Yes, I pulled it from uh, apparently a famous Spanish soap opera, and that scene was the gentleman telling the young woman that he was very sorry that he had to leave her, but he will always love her, and he will eventually be back. <laughs> well, there was a lot of laughing for that scenario. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the laugh was actually stolen from someplace else. Oh, okay, I decided to uh, find, I think I Googled dorkiest laugh, yeah. And that came up, and I thought it just fit perfectly. It was pretty funny, like right at the end. Like, like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, I'm not even paying attention to the camper. <laughs> in is, this is, situation. Is there some, I'll help you with some personal hygiene going on right there? I don't know, but clearly the shorts are not on all the way. But it's it's your first caption. Oh my goodness. Hey, and they're being pulled by a Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first caption. So I have a question. What's your question? Are these people all together, or the, the people with the old dilapidated travel trailer, the, the lady that's standing up there, is she just looking at them going, man, I thought I had it bad. Yeah, you don't know. They could not be together. This guy could have just lost his pants on his scooter and they've just stopped. But I think the person in the red shorts is trying to figure out what's hopefully going on. And it looks like the guy on the scooter may in, in fact be eating. Yeah, I don't think he cares that his shorts are not on. It's just Walmart. Nobody cares. You Nobody know cares. <laughs> Do you know this lady? Okay, if they're not together, this lady's standing there thinking, man, these people in front of my camper are really bringing down the value <laughs> of yeah. this butte that I've got. What? All I can say is what the what? What the what? Yeah. This is a speechless one in all honesty. There's so much. Oh, and if you notice, the trailer has not only a roof air conditioner, but a window, but a window air conditioner. Yep. Gotta stay cool. Dual ACs for your <laughs> camping delight. And even says people of Walmart in the corner. Oh goodness gracious. 
You said you wanted a window. I'll give you a window. <laughs> Just think of all the natural breeze we get now. <laughs> the AC went out. We're covered. I can fish from right here. What's he doing with the chain? That's <laughs> Back up, Eddie. I think it came loose. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I, I just can't stop looking at all the silliness. <laughs> when you want a convertible motor, I don't, was this a motor home I'm guessing? Yeah, it, it, it was at one point. When you want a convertible motor home <laughs> to tow your boat and your camper. You can have it all, guys. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> You don't really have anything else other than a convertible. Uh, there's no bed. There's no. No. But look at the size of that storage compartment. <laughs> <laughs> I I promise you, I promise you. There, in fact, was the statement here. Hold my beer. Oh yeah. Get up there on that hill. Get ready to take this picture. It's going to be funny. It's going to be. I just, yeah, sometimes I want to know just the entire thought process that goes into these. He's what? leaning into the turn. Yeah. What were you thinking? <laughs> uh, I can refurbish this motorhome. It's a fixer upper. <laughs> it's a fixer upper. <laughs> Look, check out the storage, though. It ain't got no water damage. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, guys, so which of those three do you want me to post later today to get this little caption contest started? Oh, the, the trailer missing the whole front end and the guy with the chain. Yeah, I have to agree with Tony. Okay, okay. That would be my vote. Okay. I'm on the same page. All right. Okay. What And what are they going to win? Uh... Let's do uh, let's do a fifty dollar gift certificate to our parts store. How about that? Ooh. Fifty dollar gift certificate. Redeemable online if they're too far away to come here. So how about that? Too bad we can't win it. Employees of Walnut Ridge and their families are not <laughs> eligible for our weekly drawings. Dang it! See Dang. rules and regulations for details. <laughs> Yeah, run like a statement at the bottom of the screen. Hey, it's time for Gadget Corner. It is time for Gadget Corner. So Dan worked really hard <laughs> on this script. <laughs> Tony's pre-reading it. Which one of us wants to read it off? It's not a fun topic. No. It's Why? pretty crappy. It's <laughs> crappy. But sometimes you have to bear down and grunt through things. In a pinch, you don't want to be caught with your pants down. <laughs> That's my recently Justin did a video on the importance of black tank maintenance. We're not showing the video, so you'll have to go back and watch that. But we carry a great product for that. And it's actually not on sale. It's actually <laughs> not on <laughs> It's not on sale. It's actually on sale right now. Not. What's the not? What? what? You know what? I have typos. You guys are supposed to improvise. <laughs> How can I improvise with the mix? <laughs> it's a mixed message. Is it or is it not on sale? It is on sale. It is on sale. Okay. So it actually is on sale. <laughs> and it's your duty <laughs> to take advantage of the buy one, get one. Did you see how I did that? Uh -huh. I loved it. Whew. Okay. Here. You get two for thirteen dollars and nine cents. Huh. No matter what. But wait, there's more. <laughs> no matter what you use, the important thing is to use something. Take care of your tank so you don't end up with a large poo dam that ruins your entire trip. Keep the feces in little pieces. <laughs> Make sure the teepee gets dissolving and make it less smelly. You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? 
the feces and little pieces was <laughs> was the highlight of my life. Were you eating Reese's pieces when you wrote that? <laughs> no, but that does sound nice. Uh, hey, my friend Gary mm-hmm. bought it. Bought his first camper. Yeah. Because Gary comes to the campground and hangs out with all of the rest of his friends who all have campers. So welcome to the camping world, Gary. Hey, and if you need to take care of your poo, that's Gary. You're going to need some of this. Buy one, get one. $13.09. Do your duty. Well, that, was a, that was a fun gadget corner. That could possibly be the, the most enjoyable gadget corner we've ever had. So... After 20 episodes, guys, we are ready to get more and more of you involved in this train wreck. So, <laughs> join us. Join us. Film yourself. Short little little film of doing the intro to Camping Corner along with your camper in the campground or in your driveway or and any pets or anything like that. And send it in to us, and we may use you in an episode. Yeah, just say, welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Whatever you want to do, be creative, have fun with it. That's exciting. Personally, I like the Hello America. Welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Well, now we're going to see if other people can do it better. Oh, I'm sure they can. I have my little Mrs. Doubtfire way we have here. Ironically, little do they know. They will be getting paid exactly the same amount to do that, sh- that part of the show as we get. Yep, which is nothing, guys. Yes, zero. <laughs> We're unionized, and we get zero. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. All right, guys. I think we've come to the end of episode 20. Yes, thank you again for joining. Remember to send in your intros, and we'll see you next week. Yep. See you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.